So welcome back, everybody. Uh, I think by the time I post this, it's going to be 2022 already. So uh, happy new year. I know that 2021 was pretty much a repeat of 2020 for many, uh, as far as world events and things that have happened in people's personal lives. But I feel like 2022 is going to be... I have a good feeling. It's going to be better. I'm quite optimistic uh, with things uh, happening. So... There's that. Uh, so this is going to be a, a bit of a weird video. Uh, so it's going to be just going to be a blind unboxing. Uh, you see me do that before. <laughs> uh, but I want to get a few things out of the way first. Uh, so one, I want to do a, just a quick shout out acknowledgement. I'm not going to make this all long and drawn out. Uh, just some uh, some some quick names. There's many I could mention here that I do appreciate and I love this community. You guys are awesome. Uh, it, it has really helped propel. Uh, you know, I think uh, me finding new music, uh, connecting with people, uh, whether here or my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is it's the same name as my channel, so I'm very easy to follow. But I uh, thought I'd bring up a few names. Uh, one is a major one that I thought was, was really cool of uh, Nick from the Thralls of Metal. Really cool channel. Uh, Miller, we need to see more of you, man. <laughs> so we see more of you on the channel. Uh, Jam and John. You know, Ren, uh, Shred Lord, you guys, you guys all rock. But uh, Nick did a uh, whole dedicated video on just you know people in the community that he digs and uh, you know stuff that he's found new music from and you know all that stuff. Uh, he didn't he didn't mention my name along with the uh, the people that we stream with on Saturday. Also, uh, he's been appearing on our live streams, and uh, I consider him as just as part of the Saturday crew. You know, I still don't think that's an official name of ours, but it seems to be sticking. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's it's really cool, man. Like you know, just having you on and you know conversing and just shooting the shit. Uh, so really cool that you did that. Uh, also, uh, Matt at the Accusation Network. So he did his own uh, shout out acknowledgement end of year thing too, and uh, you know also uh, including my name along with everybody else. So you know I didn't know I had that much of a you know, of an impact you know with with everything else in the community. But this was so awesome, man. Thank you so much you know, for, you know, mentioning my channel along with that. Uh, but you know what? I noticed something within this phenomenon is that uh, I know that when people mention other channels, you know, that also tends to bring other, you know, uh, viewers and subscribers their way. And I noticed that when the subs count go up, sometimes it goes right back down immediately and then back up a little again. So I'm not sure why that happens. It, it feels weird, but I know that, um, Hey, that messes with our emotions, man. <laughs> I've heard that happen with other uh, content creators and just, you know, how that's happened to them too. I'm like, just, I don't understand why. I know when I subscribe to somebody, I usually, you know, want to stick around and see if there's something that I want to enjoy, you know. Uh, I'll give it a, maybe a few weeks, you know what I mean, or so, something like that. Anyway, let's get that out of the way. So, uh, a few other names. Uh, my good buddy, uh, Jake, at um, used to be Hems of My Wake, which is now the Upside Down Church. So, this year, he changed the name of his channel, uh, you know. All for the better, right? So I'm going to be leaving some links uh, for people that appreciate the community, even some of the ones I didn't mention here in this very video. Uh, Brian Arkham, of course. Uh, he's been putting out quite a bit of stuff this year. He's, I, I feel like his tastes align very close to mine, too. So the recommends come very easy, almost to a fault. I can thank my bank account for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so very cool. Uh, of course, Jeff, Metal Madness, 66. Uh, you know, so, you know, we've been communicating all, all through the year and he's been doing these deep dives as you all know on on his channel so definitely check it out uh the opeth deep dive is going to happen i know it's been the elusive one and very anticipated so i plan to be on that one too so look look out for that one uh so soon as this month uh also uh you know all the guys so people overseas liam death to metalhead man he did the 500 subs uh you know uh, contest holy shit man he well surpassed that by this point uh and you know what all well deserved. He's been um, just consistently, consistently doing stuff. Uh, one of those guys that makes me feel like I'm lazy, you know, uh, when it comes <laughs> with the way he's outputting things. Uh, Mr. Boulder, James, very cool. He's been doing these ranking videos, you know, it just all kinds of other stuff. Guy, a guy has a very nice variety. So he doesn't, he's not one of those guys who does kind of the same kind of video every time. So he's really uh, working at it and we really appreciate it, dude. Uh, Beverly at Clarko Vision. Uh, you know, when I need a bit of my traditional heavy metal fix, power metal fix, you know, that's my, also my go-to. So love her channel. Very cool. So Bev, you know, keep at it. Um, you know, then you got the people, um, uh, down under, uh, James, Stormwind79, 
Uh, so, you know, he's, he's, I feel like he, he has a very wide range of tastes, uh, although a lot of the stuff that he shows predominantly is out of black metal. Uh, but, you know, but then, you know, he does surprise me with a bunch of other things, too. Sometimes non-metal stuff. Uh, so I'll leave a link to his stuff, too. Uh, of course, Simon, Explosive Action. Man, I call him the stack guy. Everything, you know, it's just these fucking giant stacks <laughs> going in. And I feel like I need to play catch up with that guy, man. It's going to be, it's next to impossible. Uh, and then on top of that, he does movies. Add insult to injury, right? He does the Blu-rays and everything else on top of that. Dude, like, <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> so... I don't know. Yeah, very cool, man. I really, really dig his channel. You know, I'm just, maybe I'm just a little jealous because it's, it's summer down there. You know, whereas we're freezing up bras off up here, right? So, uh, you know, again, there's just so many names. Uh, you know, uh, Melanie loves death metal. She she's very active on Instagram, uh, along with her channel. I don't even know. I don't think she sleeps. Melanie, do you sleep? Like, I don't. I don't know how you do it. That's just you know, but you know, very well deserved. Very very uh productive with everything else. A true lover of music, very passionate, and really into what she's into. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's just it's too many to name. Uh, Phil, uh, no baloney on Zloney. Like, uh, he doesn't have a channel, but he's been also another guy has been involved with us and participating in our streams. And very cool, man. He's always in the chats. So, very awesome. Uh, you know, I'm not going to keep everything going on too much longer because, uh, you know, so I'll leave some links. So, one thing. Uh, this year, I did my first, dread, you know, dreadful response thread. And I had several participants. Thank you all for participating in that. It's very fun seeing everybody's Halloween choices uh, regarding. So the rule was show something that's not typical of a band uh, that reminds you of Halloween or something that's maybe Halloween related, but it's not something that they typically do uh, that you can associate it with. So after I see everybody's stuff, there's been a couple little things that kind of irked me, not in a bad way. I just thought it was maybe worth a mention. So I'm going to do a very quick uh, catch up on this. Uh, before I move on to the next thing. So, uh, real quick. So, one is Harrowfall. This is their 2011 album, uh, Infected. And this, um, uh, you know, starts out with Patient Zero, uh, the other Los Muertos, Immortalized, a song called Let's Get It On, which I think it's a Marvin Gaye song. I think it's just by title. I don't think it's actually covering Marvin Gaye. Uh, as far as what I heard here. Uh, it, even the CD has a bit of that zombie kind of infected thing going on. Another thing they typically do, um, you know, very obscured cover, can't see what's going on there. But, you know, so this album's not as highly rated as their other ones for some reason. I think it has a lot to do with the fact, not so much the music, but because it's missing Hector, you know, the big, the, the dude with the big hammer, right? Like on all the Hammerfall stuff. So I think they're about to drop another album next month, I think, right? Very, very soon. So yeah, uh, another one is uh, the Melvins, Houdini. What does that have to do with anything in Halloween? It's obvious, right? Houdini died on Halloween Day. So, you know, world famous, you know, magician and, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, very, very, very cool. Uh, last one is, this one's based off a single of a song that I really, really enjoy. So it's not metal. And this is uh, the Hooters. This is their 83 debut album, Amore. So why do I mention these guys? One, they're from my home city of Philadelphia. They, they uh, play a bit of that new wave sort of uh, ska folk, you know, kind of stuff, which is uh, very uh, typical of the time period. Very, these guys are very creative. Uh, so the song here that I think was relevant to the Halloween thread was that song "All You Zombies." Uh, it was a huge, huge hit for them when it came out. "All You Zombies" is a fucking excellent song. I never ever get tired of it. Uh, so I, I, I feel it very deeply. So I'll leave a link to that music video. So uh, these guys, uh, I think, it was a uh, Rob Hyman, uh, Eric Bazilian, uh, the two guys involved in this, uh, also were involved with uh, Cindy Lauper's first album, She's So Unusual, uh, that also dropped in 83. I think, had it not been for these guys, she would not have blown up the way she did. Like, I, I, I think these were pivotal to her success. So, just a little tidbit I thought you guys should know, but very, very cool. Uh, so, along with that, I... Uh, Picked up uh, uh, some, some Christmas stuff here from the shelves that I thought I could show you that I, I kind of put in every year around Christmas time. And what gave me that idea was that Matt at the Acquisition Network happened to uh, <laughs> show, he did a whole video on some Christmas stuff. I'm not going to go all out like uh, like he did with everything. So it's just a couple of little things. Uh, oh, also, before I move on to this segment, really quick too, is uh, I also want to thank uh, Marty Worm and, um, and Alan uh, if you've been catching their uh, Friday night streams, they've been very consistent with the heavy 
metallurgy uh, streams, and they, they cover all kinds of uh, topics. Very random. They have very interesting guests. Uh, and uh, they even started doing some streaming uh, Wednesday nights. It's more of a quickie kind of a stream with uh, even more focused uh, towards a specific band uh, or something along those lines. So also, uh, you know, they've been also appearing in our, our own live streams uh, periodically, which is pretty cool. So thank you guys. You guys fucking rule, man. Um, so Alan and Let's Talk Metal uh, also, you know, with his own channel has been very productive. And, and he's, he's more of the uh, historian kind of take with, with his stuff. Which is very cool. Uh, so a lot of you new kids coming in there want to know what uh, a lot of this heavy metal and a lot of this, all this shit actually came from. Um, you know, he covers all re all regions and all kinds of styles. Uh, but I mean, again, Alan's kind of a, a a bigger a bigger brain when it comes to a lot of this. So it's very interesting, and I always learn something when I watch his channel. Uh, again, I know Marty's been very dedicated with um, doing the, the the streams, and I think it's been working really well. So definitely subscribe to that if you haven't already. So I'll leave a link along with that. So, next segment. Okay, I got some uh, really quick Christmas stuff. Uh, I'll start with the newest. Uh, so this is a band out of uh, Glasgow, Scotland, actually. Uh, this is Devil's Witches. So I find that uh, the seven inches work really well for Christmas stuff. And this is my first year with this album. What's really strange is that, um, so this is Devil's Witches Christmas Special Volume 1. I guess the Volume 2 is in the works. For some strange reason, this dropped in February of this year. You know, kind of well past the Christmas time period. Uh, so, look at that. I think that this would have been really good for that sleazy video. <laughs> so, this band um, kind of covers that whole, um, what you call it, that sort of um, fuzzy sort of stoner, uh, but also psychedelic, and just a little bit of all that stuff. Uh, think, um, think Uncle Acid, you know, and the Dead Beats. So if you like that kind of stuff, uh, I think these guys kind of fall in, in that line. Uh, quite catchy, actually. Uh, so this one has uh, three tracks. So as a matter of fact, here is side A, a song called Sugar Plum. Riding in my sleigh, you got too many clothes, get them out of the way. Uh, gold star, no bra, smile on your face. I've got the candy cane and you got the taste. I guess we both got time to waste. It <laughs> just don't take too long. Place your gift under my tree. When you open your garden, I'll plant the seed. Let me tongue your sweet cherry. I'll do it for you as you do for me. Ooh. <laughs> and this came on. It's kind of a kind of a wreathy. Yeah, it's kind of like a wreath. Kind of green. Pretty cool. Uh, the two other tracks on here are, are also demos. Uh, and I got this at the record store. And, you know, I got it at a pretty reasonable rate. I checked this cogs. It's going for some... Stupid money for a seven inch. Six going for like twenty twenty five dollars already. So I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. But they do have a, a full length, which is pretty cool. Uh, this came also with a. Um, to give you an idea, of kind of what they're like. Here you go. <laughs> Sugar plum. Yeah, it's like fuzz doom. There you go. X X X, uh, Xmas. So there's that. Uh, the other one is another seven inch, and this is a, a punk band from again Philadelphia, and they're defunct now. They have they 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 were kind of in and out really quick. They were formulated uh, right around ninety one, I think. I think they broke up around ninety three, so they weren't around too long. So this band is Carnival of Ch of Shame, and this is called Happy Alcoholidays. And uh, this came out, I think this dropped in 93, although I think it was recorded in 91. Came in this nice, nice red. Uh, so, yeah, and you got the sort of, uh, sort of jester skull looking thing. <laughs> uh, and uh, so here's the cover. So, happy alcohol days. And there is one track, two tracks on side A, I'm trying to remember. And side three has three tracks. And uh, the highlight of the song is uh, the actual Grinch. The song The Grinch, Dr. Seuss. And if you've seen the original Grinch movie, uh, they're pretty much, uh, they add their own little take on it, which I think is awesome. It's got a bit of that little, little punk flavor, quite a bit of an edge and attitude uh, added to it. Uh, although the, um, here's a picture of the band. Pretty cool. So I guess that's their, I guess that's their mascot. So... Yeah, definitely worth picking up. 
and uh, even if it's just for that song, but I, I enjoy the whole the whole seven inch. I just let it play and you know do its thing and quite catchy. I wish this band would just just stuck around. Uh, you can actually get this on Discogs for like next to nothing. So definitely pick it up and check it out. Uh, it's really really cool. Uh, so it it does sound like the, the original Grinch song. I think I think the guy who did the uh, original Grinch song is the same guy who did the Tony the Tiger. <laughs> voice believe it or not so there's that and then um this next one here is oh this was a 2017 uh black friday record store day uh pickup so this is none other than uh acid witch and the black christmas evil seven inch look at that pretty damn dark so this has uh two tracks so black christmas and christmas evil uh you better watch out so it's kind of a take of the you better you know, you better watch out Christmas song. Just add their own take. It's quite fucking nasty, man. So this right here, look at that. It looks like a gift wrap. Like a bit of a, of a Grinchy kind of Santa Claus thing happening there. So, uh, yeah. So Shagrat did the cover art on this. As you know, he's the vocalist who also tends to do most of the uh, Acid Witch uh, artwork. Pretty cool. Uh, I know he wasn't the original vocalist. So uh, what's his name? Lassie, the guy in Hooded Menace, was the original vocalist for... Uh, Acid Witch, you know, uh, but, you know, I enjoy all the stuff they put on, man. Just just, a, just a fucking great band overall. So, we have, uh, this also came in a, I want to say red vinyl, but not, but not really. This this actually was a, uh, for some reason, it's a pink color, which I think would have worked out better for the Devil's Witches, because that, that bra on that cover was pink. <laughs> it would have fit that color scheme better. But, you know, maybe because it's translucent and it just it, you know, kind of appears pink. Uh, I'm not sure, but... Uh, came with this little insert uh, with all the lyrics. Uh, so we got side uh, side naughty uh, for uh, yeah, Christmas Evil. You better watch out. And then side nice for the song Black Christmas. So very cool. Uh, like I said, it's very dark shit. I mean, you got the fucking you, know, you got the looks like marijuana here, and you got this, uh, uh, what you call it? You got like a hypodermic needle. Uh, a couple things going on here, and yeah, you you figure it out. Quite dark. Uh, another one is. Um, now don't laugh. Do not laugh. This is not one of those Rick, you know, uh, what you call skits. And that is uh, uh, the Christmas with the Chipmunks. Damn it, you're laughing. Uh, so <laughs> why am I putting this on here? Uh, you know, I got this for my nieces and nephews when I put it on. But fuck, man. Put this on. This came out in 1980. It's pretty old. So the year I was born. So drink a half a gallon of eggnog. With some rum and put this on. This is the darkest shit you'll listen to, man. Seriously, it'll put you in a place. What else do I got? Let's see here. CD, another CD. Uh, let me see. Look at some. Look at some block Christmas. So look at some block Christmas. How the hell did this get here? Sorry about that. Um. So I think that's it. So let's move on to the next segment. So I got this box. From Jeff, Metal Man is 66, and throughout the course of uh, last year, he's been telling me he's going to send a package my way. So, thank you, dude. It arrived, and I figured I'll just unbox it here and show you what's inside. So, based on our talks, I think I have a pretty good idea of what's in this uh, box right here. Although, I don't know exactly what it is, but I think I know who it is. Ah. Yep. <laughs> Tangerine Dream. So it's man, this is like a whole a whole collection, like just of stuff. So it is the Virgin Years. They're both the Virgin Years. So this is uh seventy-four to seventy-eight. And this one is 77 to 83. They have a whole shitload of material. Like, it's it's daunting if you're just getting into Tangerine Dream. Uh, even if you already started. Uh, just to go back and, you know. So, you know, a German electronic group. Uh, pretty much the Godfathers pioneered and influenced a whole slew of artists. I mean, uh, I'm sure most of you are probably already familiar. Uh, even if you're not familiar with Tangerine Dream, you've been exposed to a lot of it. 
if anything, it's their uh, movie material. They've done a lot of soundtracks, uh, movies like Firestarter, Legend, The Keep, Sorcerer, uh, Thief. Did I say Thief? Uh, even the obscure stuff like Vampira, uh, go back to 71. So only from the 67, they've been quite prevalent uh, in kind of putting material nonstop. So the founder, Edgar Fries, passed away in 2015 uh, at, at 70 years old, unfortunately. So there is uh, an album that came out after his death, uh, called Quantum's Gate, came out in 2017. So it's based on a lot of the material uh, and notes that he's been working on. So the band decided to carry on. Uh, even though throughout the years it's been a rotating lineup, uh, he's been a consistent member. But, uh, you know, those that um, were part of the, the group uh, still are today. Uh, I think they're still looking at releasing more new material, uh, which is pretty cool. But you know he, he he you know he'll be missed. He's he was pretty much the uh, main brains behind this operation for literally decades. So this is a this is excellent. Uh, the '70s material is the one that people really latch on to as far as um, that that real that real golden period of theirs. Uh, so '74 to '78 is five albums included in this one, two, three. Yeah, five albums included in this collection. Uh, so the, yeah, Phaedra, which is the one I hear most about and the most highly acclaimed release. Uh, Rubicon, another one. Uh, Ricochet, Stratosphere, uh, and Cyclone. Uh, there's some bonus materials in here too. So yeah, five LPs. So shit, man. And this other one, uh, which is uh, 7783. It is one, two, three, four, seven, seven albums. Encore Live, uh, some bonus tracks, Force Major, Tangram, Exit, White Eagle, Logos, uh, and Hyperborea. So, and again, I, I've been a casual listener, but I've never really dived in super deep on any of this. So, I can't wait to really start to get familiar with the catalog. And again, this is a great way to do it. So, thanks a lot, man. Like, I, I don't know, I, I, words can't add, man, how I've appreciated I, I am with all this stuff. It's... It's so, it's so cool. So I'll just leave it at that and look forward to my next video. So uh, I'm looking forward to do something really fun. So very, very soon. And keep it dreadful.